Do you want to know how much XP a furnace gives you from a single chest of different types of blocks? We're going to experiment now, don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, in my Let's See What Happens If We Do This series. Yeah, I know it's not a series, I've just made it up, but we are going to have a little bit of a play with Furnace XP. Now, there's a lot of XP farms out there that use furnaces for the XP, and actually, I've done a number of them myself, and people have very, very rightly questioned, well, how much XP do we get from a furnace? And it varies. The thing is, it always, like all the, all the good things in life, it depends. And yeah, you could go on to... I don't know, Wikipedia or something like that, and you could look up a table, but that's boring. Let's try and do it with an experiment. So we are gonna take 12 smeltable items, and we're gonna see if there's any difference whatsoever in the amount of XP you get from one small chest's worth of that item. This is my array. Yes, I've made an array that is gonna allow me to turn it on and off and lock the hoppers to one, allow all the fuel to start at the same time. Not that, that really matters, but I just thought it'd be a bit flash. And two, to make sure that at the end, we have got something left inside the furnace that will be basically allow us to um, do the experiment. Because you have to physically remove something from the furnace to get the XP. It's no good just smelting a whole boatload of stuff and there's nothing in the furnace at the end because you have to remove something from the furnace to take that XP away. So this is the experiment. We're going to do 12 items, 12 different items. We're going to do some stony stuff. We're going to do some foody stuff. We're going to do some planty stuff, all that kind of thing. And we're going to see which one is the best one to use for an XP farm. And then we're going to have maybe a think about how we could automate it. So that's the plan. Let's crack on. So this is what we're going to test. We're going to test cobble, clay, netherrack, sand, iron ore, and that will represent gold ore as well, although I don't know if it's the same. Wood, and this is actually oak wood, but I'm pretty sure all the woods would be the same. Kelp, cactus, potato, fish, that's specifically cod. Whether or not the different cods are different, I don't know. We've also got some meat, there's some beef, and chicken. So that is our 12. We're going to test all of them and in testing all of them i wonder whether or not a few things one do they all smell at the same time this is not a test for that that's just a personal thing and two what xp are we going to get out of the furnace having done one of each so if i just show you we've got a chest was filled up it is now obviously filling through into the hopper and it is filled through into the furnace when i throw this switch i've got a chest here that's got two um full stacks of cold blocks the same as across all the way when I throw this switch here that is going to turn off all of those redstone lamps uh, redstone torches which will unlock those hoppers which will flow the uh, fuel in and it'll also turn off all of those redstone lamps which will allow the cook stuff to flow out and what we're going to do is right at the very 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 end when it has done the whole lot I am going to lock it I'm going to put one more item in because one more item won't make a lot of difference and allow that to flow through and cook just one item which will leave one item there that we can take and do an XP test on every single one. Then we can tally it up and we can see what the league is for the best smelty items. Let's get on with it. It's a very exciting. So let's just throw this switch and they should all throw on. Here we go and bang. There they go, they're all going now. So if we just look in there, we're smelting the cobble. That's going to smelt into smooth stone, obviously, which is going to uh, go straight through into that chest there. And we'll have the same all the way along. That will be smelting into glass. The wood will smelt into charcoal. Obviously, the cactus into cactus green. Potatoes into jacket potatoes, etc., etc., etc. Now, you just have to wait because we've got a whole chest to get through so that's going to take a little bit of time i'll be back when it is done so just under five hours later we have got full chests of everything now each item takes about 10 seconds to smell so if you act that up a full chest a full single chest worth of items full blocks that is 4.8 hours so just under five hours to smell that entire lot now at the moment 
these furnaces have got nothing in them. So what we need to do is we need to place just one block in them so as it can smelt and then get taken out. But we don't want that block to flow through to the hopper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flick that off. That then turns on these torches which locks the hopper and that means anything we put in here is not going to be um, passing through into the chests or into the hopper, which is great. And that means that we can remove that and once we remove it, we'll get the XP that has been stored in that furnace for the entirety of that um, whole chest's worth of smelting. So I'm just going to get all of these bits in here. There we go. Right, so all of those single bits are smelting. And once we've finished that, we're going to get some XP inside us. So you can see all of these furnaces have now gone out. We've got one item in each of them and we're gonna see how much experience each of these items actually gives us. So first off, cobble. What does cobble give us? You can see, I'm gonna reset my XP uh, at the beginning of every one, so I've got absolutely zero XP here in survival. I'm gonna take this, and that has given me 10 and a half, literally bang on the half, 10 and a half XP. So that is actually not so bad, really. So I'm just gonna reset that. Next one we're gonna do is clay. And we've got our terracotta in here. We're completely down to zero again. Let's see what we get. Now we get nearly 21 levels for that. So that is more than double. Um, that's actually quite exciting, isn't it? 21 and what, three quarter levels, something like that. Right, so we've got our nether brick. What is that gonna give us? Right, that's given us what looks like exactly the same as the cobble, which is really interesting. So that stone gives the same as the cobble. Let's go on to sand. When we make glass, what does that do? Let's reset ourselves. XP add Abamance minus a gazillion points. There we go. Let's take out the glass. And that is again, that's exactly the same by the look of it. Look, that's a 10 and a half level experience. That's not too bad, actually, if you think about it. Now we've got iron. Now what do we think iron's gonna do? So let XP add Abamance minus a bazillion points there we go so let's look take out the iron whoa look at that that is 28 and a quarter levels so that's even more than the clay that's a whole lot of levels is that so i'm quite pleased about that smelting iron could be very very profitable from an experience perspective so now we're on to the wood now i suspect wood probably isn't that good certainly not as good as iron so let's take it out and that gives us, what, 13 and a third levels. So more than stone, which is good, but not as much as clay and definitely not as much as iron. Let's get rid of that. And now we're on to the kelp. Now the kelp, again, I suspect isn't amazing. Let's find out. 10 and a half. So that is exactly the same as stone again. So we're starting to see a bit of a pattern emerge here. So we've got five left. And I genuinely don't know what I suspect that some of these are gonna be quite good. So what does cactus give us? I know cactus is supposed to be pretty good, isn't it? So let's take out the cactus green. Wham, right into 32 and three quarter levels there. That is actually, if you think about it, as, as an XP farm, you could set up cactus just to take out 30 levels ready to do some max enchanting, just with one single chest worth of uh, cactus. That's really impressive. Let's get rid of the XP. And we are onto our potato. Let's nick a bit of a jacket potato. 20 levels, nearly 21 levels. So that I think is the same as clay. So we'll call that 20, it's more than clay actually, it's slightly higher. So 20 in what, nine tenths or something like that. That's pretty decent. Now we've got just the big three foods left now. Let's see what a little fishy does. Little fish, we have got, take out the cod, 20, very, that's very nearly the same. I think that's exactly the same as the potato there, isn't it? Call that 20 and 9 tenths of levels. That's quite good. Let's just get ourselves um, rid of those bits and pieces there. Yes, I reminded myself and I did copy and paste rather than type it out every time. I got it, I got it. Right, steak. What do we think for steak? The same again. So we've got 20 and 9 tenths for steak, which means that we've got one left, which is our chicken. Let's get rid of the chicken. And um, first of all, we've got to lose our points. There we go. So chicken, what are you going to do for us, little chuck? And it's the same again for the food. So that's 20 and 9 
tense. Now, there is a clear winner there. Cactus is absolutely mad mental for getting XP. Let's come and tally these results. So we finished the experiment. What is the best thing that we can smell? What were the results? Down at the bottom, we've got our stony bits and glasses, a bit like powdered stone in it. So that can come in here as well, plus kelp, which is nothing like stone. And we've got 10 and a half levels coming from those four items that we tried. Then a little bit higher than that, we smelted some wood and which gave us some charcoal and that gave us 13 and then six and a half of the little sub levels. There are 18 full sub levels in an entire bar. Then we got onto some bigger stuff. We got clay to make terracotta, chicken, beef, fish and potatoes. So quite foody apart from the terracotta. You don't really want to be eating that. It will make your gums bleed. But the rest of it, the food stuffs, we got 20 levels and 16 of the sub levels. There are 18 full blocks. So very nearly 21 full levels from those items. Then we started to get really exciting. Iron, I wonder if gold would be the same, but to smelt the ore, we got 28 levels and then four and a tiny little bit of the sub levels. Bear in mind, this experience isn't linear. You need more experience to get to the next level every single time. And finally, the big prickly boy, Cactus. That gave us 32 levels and then 14 of the sub levels that is a massive experience generator and is clearly the best thing that you're going to want to use if you were doing this exclusively as an xp farm now i found that extremely interesting and what an interesting set of facts you can take away to start to build up some bespoke specialist xp farms using just these furnaces you can get just little chunks of xp 10 levels of xp and you can just get 10 get your necessary enchantments and then you don't go out into the wilderness with loads of excess xp and you don't get your face eaten by a creeper and lose all the xp that you've earned or if you want to go enchanting from scratch you can do yourself a single chest just full of cactus there and that's going to give you enough enchantment to be able to put a full enchantment onto anything really interesting build up an entire farm full of different furnaces to give you different levels of xp and i think you could do it in a really interesting way if you've enjoyed that video please do remember to slap that like button it'd be good to know you're enjoying them and i'll keep on making them and also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button it'd be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye